let's see here. I like sunburn. Is your top, is your five or? I don't know. I think I, I can't narrow it down to five. Oh, I, I did. I tried to narrow it down to five. So, and this one, it's only level 10, but she's uh, got some pretty cool attacks. You can teleport. You can choose like which part you want, you can teleport to. And if you're like surrounded by your enemies, you can just teleport away. Or you can use your phoenix. Or you can use your phoenix. Or okay. you're firing your... And then uh, she, we level, leveled her up so she has endless fire. This is good for that one. Uh, and you can be, he can become a phoenix. Yeah. While doing it. So enemies touch him, they get hurt, or he gets hurt after a while. So, yep, yeah. that's his fifth. Yeah. I don't know, I think I like them all equally. I don't, I don't think I have a... And then Dinah Ring. And when I first saw him, I'm like, oh, it's he's kind of neat because he, you know, it's, he's hard to find. And I, I didn't think he was going to be any good. But he has these boomerangs that he could sh throw around him. Not only are they work as shields, and he could like, he could retreat and he could still be attacking. And he has this one boomerang he could throw and he can control it. For I don't know how long, but I never had to use it that long, but right now, I guess it looks like, probably like five seconds he could throw it and control it. Way more. Yeah. Looks like it. It's pretty cool. And then, oh, and he has this one, when you fight the Inhuman Shields, you know how Inhuman Shields, if they have their shields up and not spinning it around, you can't get them, they just block everything. With this one, it'll attack from behind and, and can destroy the Inhuman Shields. Mm -hmm. But the, the path I chose was to, to d fully develop his boomerangs. If I want his other path, these, uh, these little rock formations he creates, they're a lot stronger. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll restart them and try to develop those better. And then like, Cars Thomas fan, I like Trigger Happy as well. He loves Rapid the Fire. He has his Gatling gun. And then I chose another direction for him. Instead of throwing the big um, blast, I throw the big coin, and this takes a lot of damage. This is good for... Uh... And if you get on top of enemies, it does a little blast. Yeah. So, yeah. The coin's falling down. <laughs> He's got a rapid attack. You pretty much can decimate a, a room with him. And Wham Shell. I got him because he looked pretty cool. Well, I like Wham Shell. I mean, I'm not too keen on this attack because I barely use it. The attack I use the most when I'm in a battle is this attack. And I just, all I do is run and throw this attack. And uh, three times, enemies are dead. Yeah. Especially against the Inhuman Shields, which I hate the most. And the. And what are those, those little prism guys? Those guys I hate. And this thing. And this thing this knocks them out. Yeah, this attack. Is like a maximum yeah, I'm damage. I'm not sure what this attack is called, but this one is yeah, by far one of the best attacks. And kind of like a cheater move in this game. Yeah, it's kind of like a cheater yeah. move. I don't remember what, why I did anyway. Okay. And of the Spyro series. I think this would be his number one if you had to pick. Yeah, this one I use the most because Camo. when you throw hit A three times you can heal yourself. Well not only does it become a shield, let's see the plus five, you can heal yourself and your uh, partner. Huh. So if you both are in trouble and you're low on health, this one has gotten us out of a lot of jams. And then she has... He. Is it a he? Oh, show um, show the YouTubers the giant attack. Oh, wait, I'll show that one. This one, you know, like like uh, Trigger Happy is, is a rapid fire attack. He can 
he can get away with getting uh, sun balls. Is that what these are, sun balls? And then she has this watermelon. Or he. Uh, what is that thing called? The watermelon attack. The vines. So. It is so maximum. Get, yeah. So here, if you like, go into this little corner. You know, it, it'll wrap around whatever the surroundings are, and you can pretty much destroy anything in its path. You, you, just, you have a combination of of little watermelons that blow up and, and destroy your enemies. Okay, now so, he's on series two. So that's all the Spire guys, and then the series two, I don't know, I mean this is the one that came with the game. And he doesn't have the best attacks. You know, this one can push your enemies back. Does pretty well. The vacuum's great because you can vacuum up your uh, treasure Money. and your enemies. And as you're vacuuming up your enemies, it hurts them. And you can fly, so he has good mobility. And you can also show the um, good spin. mobility. And then you have this one spinning attack, which takes a lot of damage off your enemies. So, so the fact that he has good mobility. Rapid fire attack, you know, it, it's not a really good punch. It doesn't take out a lot of damage, but you know, with with good mobility, you can you can do. It does pretty well. And then this one we got the other day with uh, the hey, hot dog pack. Hot dog pack. He's kind of like the opposite of hot dog. He's he's the water version of hot dog. He's got a wave attack. He could ride the wave. And has good mobility. He's really fast. He said he could throw the wave, wave after wave, and just make a and wall. And shoot lightning yeah. bolts. So if you're fighting a bunch of guys, it'll take out two guys at the same time. And this rapid fire and, light, lightning bolt. Yeah, lightning rapid fire. And and, um, and then you have this, I don't know, like this, kind of like a slug. But they call it like a super slide. They call it super slime. Is it super slime? Reminds me of that. Wow. It has good mobility. Okay, back to that one. And then. Flame Slinger. Series two Flame Slinger. He was in, he was in Spyro, but this one he has some other abilities like. Just make a wall and just take a ton of damage actually the um, exclusive power is running red oh which one this one when you go double tap no oh when you do a it, and B. A. which one is it you do it in the nay you do it at the same time you have to hold them at the same time remember which one the trigger the and X. A? oh X X and A oh uh, that one yeah just a lot of you damage you can make a wall and then he has the the multiple arrows, so he's got a long range attack and a wide attack. So you can you can destroy your enemies before they can even reach you, or you can shoot them as they're coming at you. But while they're far away, you can take them out, which makes them good. <coughs> and then. This one was surprising because when you when you first get him, all he has is this, but it, it's a short one, and it you got to keep doing it, and by that time, the other guys are killing you. But as you level him up, he has a uh, unlimited uh, what do, what do you call this? Unlimited um, magic strike. I guess so, and it just keeps going and going and going and. And the guys that, and, you're, um, on the guys this that one, you're fighting, they can't fight back because you're pretty much and electrocuting them. And series two exclusive, you can um, get five enemies at a time. Okay. And then I like his little babies that he creates. So and he can, can grow them. Yeah. yeah. Not only can... So we have the one where he can create three of them. And they have a homing beacon, so they, if there's an enemy nearby, they jump and attack them. And not only that, he, he can make them bigger. So you have some really big guys to, to, to battle your enemies. Like my <coughs> Sonic <coughs> Boom. Excuse me. Like my Sonic Boom. Yeah. And that's 
Oh, and then this one. Is this one exclusive? Number one doesn't no. have this. Does it? The yeah, series one have it. this too? Okay, yeah, this one's good if you're like surrounded by guys. You throw this out there and. It, it won't actually hurt it. them that much unless it, you. It pushes got... them back so you can attack them. No, it actually doesn't do that. It doesn't do that? No, unless you got to pass number one. Oh, that one we didn't get. Okay. I think mine has it though. Yeah, Series 2 is Cars Thomas fan. I have Series 1, so I'm not sure. No, you have Series 2, too. No, mine's Series 1. Okay. I know. Oh, and this one, I like Stealth Elf. This is Series 2. Oh, I was talking about my my uh, Double Trouble. So this is a Series 2 Stealth Elf. So you can make her... Uh, do that. What are, you, what are these called? Um, Stealths. Oh, I mean, uh, um, scarecrows. Scarecrows, that's right. So you throw, you, so you throw the scarecrows out, and the enemies attack the scarecrows while you you can attack them, and just totally throw them off. It diverts your enemy, and then you have this ability where, see the eyeball? That's really you. You can run away, and as, you know, if you want, if you're low on energy, you can just do this. My stealth elf can do an AA yep. maximum She damage. has a good attack. So you can do this. Show go the around your enemies. Do the wall pal. Go around your enemies. AA hold. This one? That one. Yeah, that one's a good attack. It's exclusively on series 2. Like my super baby. It's exclusively on series 2. And then my favorite giant is... He's only doing one, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, I'm only going to do one. I do like the Tree Rex brothers. They do a good job. But? For some reason, I like Eyeball. Yeah, he's like attack, like because I showed you You can you throw your babies. He has armor. Yeah, this one's leveled up with armor. And then you have him battling At three for attacks. you. At the same time, you could be shooting, and so you could be battling three different enemies at one time. And three attacks. Yeah. And one guy. So yeah, that's it. Subscribe to <laughs> Cars yeah. Thomas Just, just like before, uh, comment below.